I brought two wool blankets, a sleeping pad, some tools, some food, and a bit of extra clothing. It's supposed to go down to negative eight with snow flurries. And uh, I'm gonna use natural structure to build myself a shelter and uh, hopefully get through the night in comfort. So this whole tree is going to die, it's all knocked down, so I'm going to use all the spruce boughs from that and that's going to be what insulates my, uh, my structure here. So I can't make this up, I'm just working away. And all I started hearing is this loud crunching noise. And then uh, just over here, this tree fell down. It's a live tree too. I guess it's just the branch. That's coming. Oh. oh, there's a hole there. Oh, okay. Wait, all well, that snow must have knocked it right off. Cool.
messy fire to get going. The problem was all those little branches, super wet. All the snowfall just coated them all in this like ice. So I have to get the inside of these, uh, these bigger logs. This is where all the dry stuff is. Thank goodness, that's a good feeling. like a great piece. Yeah, the bark's coming off and everything. This is a perfect piece of standing dead hardwood. I'm gonna try to get as much of this as possible. Woo! <laughs> need a lot of wood tonight. Gotta love the debris, and I always forget to bring something to filter it out. Awesome, that looks great. We cut the potato in half, and then we cut the potato in a quarter. Pepper, salt, and a little bit of cheese. Excellent. A couple green onions, and by a couple, I mean an absolute ton. Sour cream. Excellent. Might as well use all those pine needles from that branch that fell down earlier. Might not make the best insulation, but it's something. And it's a start. There's not much here, but it's gone. I 
I can dig this. It's only supposed to get slightly cooler tonight. This is like absolutely doable. About negative seven right now. In my shelter, it's a nice warm 14 degrees. In the back of the shelter, it's closer to zero degrees. It's another great piece of hardwood. Just after 10, about 10 hours till sunrise, 8 a.m. I'm gonna crawl into bed and uh, see if I can catch some Z's. That is over like a burrito. There we go, like a burrito. That'll do, actually. That'll do. All right, guys, see you in the morning. Oh. Uh, good morning. It's not the best sleep I've ever had, but it certainly wasn't the worst. Burn most of the wood. And I slowly pulled the fire closer and closer to me as the night went on. It was not the most comfortable night. My uh, back side was quite cold, but um, it wasn't the worst night. It wasn't the worst night. This is Bannock. Some jam. That was a fun little test of will. Sticking it out in the little shelter with nothing but a wool blanket. Well, two wool blankets. Could have been one if it was big enough, I suppose. I don't know. But in any case, it's definitely doable. It's uh, definitely a doable thing. I had cold spots on my body at points and those were kind of distracting which kept me up but I know that I got sleep at some points because I was dreaming. It's a telltale sign, I think. <laughs> Anyways, I don't feel completely exhausted this morning so I'm going to start heading out. I hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.